today um, we have an open invitation to the residents of Carlisle and the surrounding area to come and um, pay a little bit of time, spend a little bit of time um, paying their respects to people who they've lost, their relatives, their friends. Um, it's our summer memorial service and this is the 28th year it's been running. But my old manager is a guy called Ken West. Um, he got an MBE for his works in the field, he's recently retired, but he it was very, very thought, forward thinking and um, he thought that if we could set up a series of memorial services for the, for the residents of Carlisle that um, it would be well attended and over the years they have been very well attended and well appreciated. And we have regulars, if you like, uh, that have been coming here for many years. So, it's, like I say, it's open for everyone. People that have maybe had a, a bereavement in the last few weeks or a month or the six months Going right back, I would imagine some people have been coming here over 20 years. It's a very busy place, this crematorium. We carry out 1,500 cremations a year. We have about 80,000 people a year come through. Bereavement, um, it's something we all have in common. We've all lost someone. And this is just a, a special occasion for people to come and spend half an hour out of their busy lives just to come and uh, remember. Okay, so it's usually a Church of England led service and this year it's Reverend Keith Teasdale from St Cuthbert's. I myself will be carrying out a few readings during the service and the Salvation Army very kindly come in every year and they'll play our hymns for us. So it's, it's based around a, a standard funeral service um, but with some uplifting words and some prayers and uh, a Bible reading. Uh, Keith, he's a, a very good vicar and uh, he usually brings part of that into the funeral so that we're not alone, everyone that's lost people. Some people can become very lonely and it can only be a positive thing that people come together uh, joint, jointly uh, grieving, yeah.